If you've been following the Metaverse Investor channel, then you probably know what a Metaverse is. If not, then Metaverse is a virtual world or several virtual worlds where you can socialize with other people and play games. But decentralized Metaverses are a lot more interesting. That's because decentralized Metaverses aren't owned by those big sharks who control the market. And these Metaverses can also provide you with the opportunity to play while earning cryptocurrencies. The interesting thing about Metaverses is that they're in their infancy, but still, they're providing us with the opportunity to earn passive income just because we're having fun. Enough said, we'll talk in this video about 7 Metaverse Crypto Projects to get in early. Welcome back Metaverse Investors, my name's Teddy and if you love the crypto metaverse, NFTs and play to earn games, subscribe to the channel and tick the notification bell to watch our videos every day and stay up to date in the metaverse. I'm not a financial advisor. This video exists purely for educational purposes. Please do your own research and make your own intelligent financial decisions. The first metaverse project on our list is My Neighbor Alice. Okay, that sounded sarcastic for a moment. Yes, as weird as the name might seem, My Neighbor Alice is considered one of the hottest metaverse projects for 2022. The Metaverse Project is a play-to-earn multiplayer builder game. In My Neighbor Alice, you'll be able to buy and own virtual islands and make creative buildings. Of course, you'll also be able to socialize with other players and most importantly, trade NFTs. The game is inspired by the popular Nintendo game Animal Crossing, and as you play it, you'll be able to customize your avatar using in-game assets. You can either purchase or earn the assets from the game. To do that, you'll be using the Alice token, which is the main token in the My Neighbor Alice universe. Alice token is used to buy virtual lands, in-game assets, and it will enable you to use decentralized finance products like collateralization and staking. My Neighbor Alice has a market cap of $255 million. In November, it flirted with the $500 million market value before a market correction occurred which deleted half of its value. Note that the Alice token is one of the highest in terms of volatility. The digital currency went from $20 in March 2021 to as low as $4 by July. It quickly blasted above an all-time high record of $27 on November 25th. And again, it plunged back in December to $15 as of making this video. So keep that in mind as you explore the My Neighbor Alice universe. The second metaverse project on our list is Meta Hero. Now, this isn't an NFT game and not a metaverse world like Decentraland, for example. Meta Hero is a meta-related platform, however, which is revolutionizing the way we enter the metaverse. How, you might wonder? Bear with me. Have you watched Ready Player One? Wade entered the metaverse of James Holiday himself virtual universe. And MetaHero is trying to do something similar to that by making a technology that scans real-life objects and turns them into NFTs. This includes a full human body scan. So yeah, you can get yourself scanned to have an identical version of yourself as an NFT. Now think of it this way. Imagine if you put your hand on a rare real-world item and scan it as an NFT. Of course, NFTs can't be copied, so you have an exact match of one of the real-world rarest items as an NFT. I don't know about it, but I think that it could be sold for a few hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, the example is a bit dramatic, but you got the idea. Meta Hero is for sure a very interesting project, and its digital currency is as interesting as the project is. Hero, the native digital currency of the platform, was trading around $0.008 as of July 2021. By December 25th, the digital currency is trading at $0.15, cents, and that's a 1,775% return in 6 months. Hero's market value is around $785 million, according to CoinGecko. And its all-time high market value was reached on December the 2nd when it climbed to $1.2 billion before it witnessed a market correction amid the major cryptocurrencies crash. Are you liking the video so far? If so, I have good news. Subscribe to become a Metaverse investor. Also, comment I want you to make a video about blank and we might make a video if enough people are interested. We love getting suggestions from you in the comments. The third metaverse project to get in early is Decentral Games. 
old. Note, now if you're a fan of poker, then you'll probably love this one. Decentral Games is a play-to-earn game where you'll play poker, roulette, blackjack, and slots. The in-game currency is Ice Poker and is currently trading at 17 cents. The native token for Decentral Games is old and is trading at $352. To be able to play the game, players are obliged to obtain at least one Ice NFT wearable. It could be bought or obtained from delegation. Each Ice NFT will allocate to you a certain amount of chips which you'll use to play the game. You can earn in the Decentral Games Metaverse by completing the game daily check-in as well as the three challenges and you'll compete against other players for daily leaderboard multipliers. These are counted based on chips net winnings. You can also delegate your NFT wearables and share revenue with your delegate. Alternatively, you can mint new NFT wearables and share them on the Decentral Games Marketplace. Note that many NFT wearables can be so expensive for the average person. A pair of shoes in the Decentral Games universe is almost $4,000, so keep that in mind if you're considering this game. Yeah, and check out this blazer, which is on sale on OpenSea for $80,000. Still, these kinds of rare items can provide you with higher chances for earning. For instance, an NFT wearable holder may delegate their NFT to another player who wants to play and earn. In return, the player using your classy blazer will earn 70% ice while you'll receive the other 30%. However, the XP will only be sent to you. You can also earn by mining for ice and selling it to other players who need it to mint rarer NFT wearables. Finally, if you score on the top monthly leaderboard, then you'll earn DG, the Decentral Games Governance Token. The token allows you to get governance rights and fee sharing within the Decentral Games ecosystem. If you feel like your earnings are low, then you can upgrade your NFT wearable. This provides you with more bonuses and additional ice. If your wearable is higher in rank, then your bonuses will follow. The more challenges you complete per day, the more XP you receive. Note that playing metaverse games is an investment itself. This means that sometimes you have to make intelligent financial decisions and put an effort into thinking about the next step. Your decision can either make you earn a lot more or can send your earnings to plummet to zero. This also applies to starting a game. If you're not ready to invest in a game or think that its economy doesn't make sense, then skip it. The metaverse game space doesn't revolve around one game only and you can choose from an array of games that you enjoy. Finally, make sure that the game you're playing is fun. Don't just play a game because you heard many people are earning from it. If you don't enjoy it, then big chances are that you'll drop it in a few days. And with that, all your investment will be put to waste. As a metaverse investor, there's a lot of opportunity for you. If you want to continue watching our top 10 favorite metaverse coins, play to earn games, and NFT projects, click one of the two videos on the screen right now and get ready to step into the metaverse.